Good girl, hon. Good girl, hon. Just having a lot of fun. Beautiful day out here today, man. I got took Daisy to her park. Favorite park. She ran around here already like 40 minutes. She loves this park. She gets excited five miles out. Just not the same anywhere else. No, she just likes running. I can go to Detroit, big open field. She didn't give a shit. So I'm glad I take a place where she can enjoy. Yeah, hi, enjoying eating grass, hon. Eating your favorite grass. So beautiful out today. God, look at this. It's just so damn nice. This tree never needs to worry about getting watered. Good girl, honey. You having a good time? Really enjoying yourself? Get some interviews tonight. Go back to Detroit. I just thought I'd come here first because it was cool, sunny. Oh, yeah, super pretty. Hey, John. Yeah, this is a gorgeous park, man. There ain't nothing fancy. Just plain. Nobody out here. I got my metal detector. I'm not brand. I didn't I was going to use it here. See, the leaves are starting to turn here. I go out of my way to bring Daisy here, but it's worth it. Plus, I like coming here myself. This is a Huron River. Spent a lot of time on this growing up. Hard to believe. Man, we were fooling. I mean, I was fooling around in boats as a, since a kid. We all had a boat with like a 10 horsepower motor. We'd come up here, screw around, ski. We didn't know what a life jacket looked like. Yeah, honey, enjoying yourself? Hey, Superwoman. Yeah, it just fell over. It's been there for years. You know, the banks get soaked with water and they get high water and it just, it's a cool tree, man. I'd love that damn key tree as a kid. Shit, you can go out there and sit on there. It'd have been so great, eh, Rosie? I mean, that's perfect for a kid. Hey, Superwoman, if you get a chance, you know, as a moderator, Daisy's trying to hope she can, oh, you get a drink, hon? Good. She can't get down on the bank here sometimes. You get a drink? Had a girl, hon. Uh, hey, Made Michigan Superwoman, if you see, if you, you know, as a moderator, you can uh, delete uh, shitty comments, too, on the posted ones. So if you see any of those, take them off. Leaving these nasty comments about these girls. So I'll get some good interviews today. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna keep staying down here. It's great weather. Having a good time. Eating out a lot. Asian, barbecue. Take Daisy, get up in the morning, get a Dunkin' Donuts coffee, watch the hurricane. Not doing shit. Just partying. Get back down to Detroit. I didn't do much video. I'm not, I didn't, I want to take more uh, different video. Yeah, I'll post that again, that P.O. Box uh, thing. I got her P.O. Box, yep. Got ripped off on it. What are you going to do, though? You know, I, you got that, that's something. You know, it's all federally federal guidelines. That box is two and a half times more and smaller than it is where I live. How can that be? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was thinking about this last night. You know, it's probably too hard on that Kelly, but you know, I try and have these relationships where there's no strings attached. Well, I guess there is one string attached because I know they're gonna fall and go back to drugs and still work the street. But I just don't want to get lied to about it. I mean, who am I not to get lied to? I agree. All I can do is not have interest in interviewing you anymore and driving by you when I see you in Detroit. And if I get turned off enough, that's what I'm going to do. You can just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm just not interested in following up on a story like that. Now, I think Gerald 
uh, you know, I interviewed him again. One thing you got to give that guy is he's honest. She's in the, uh, it actually wasn't a video I uploaded because when I first got down to Detroit two days ago, I went ahead and did live chats on this phone, which I don't like doing, but I did it with her and Marguerite because people were watching. It was the spur of the moment. I thought I'd give it a try, but, you know, the signal buffers, I don't have a thumbnail, so when I, I don't have anything to upload so you know it's for sure an interview. That's why I'd rather do them on my camera and not on my phone. Because the phone sucks for a lot of reasons. It's good if you didn't have anything else. But uh, I don't really like doing the phone. So I was thinking this over last night. Uh, yeah, Rebecca felt good. She really did. I mean, look, this isn't any uh, crusade I'm on. I don't, I don't even purport to help anybody. I interview them, you guys listen, and whatever you get out of it, you get out of it. I'm not claiming to help anybody. If I can, they ask me, I will, like the P.O. box. But I don't consider that any, you know, great leap of uh, benevolence. You know, it, it, it goes full circle right back to what's my purpose. I don't really have a purpose. What's my goal? No, don't have one of those either. And maybe that's why I like doing it so much. But if somebody's just going to, you know, bullshit me blind, it just... It's not the end of the world. I'm just not interested in talking to you. Yeah, Hank Rosie. I, I really, honestly, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that, though. I'm not doing one thing different than I did whether I had a camera and went to Detroit or not. You know? What are you talking about, like 62 versus 4? Yeah, Jeff, thank you. But I mean, I, I hate even acknowledging that. You know, all these guys, uh, there's just so much bullshit out there now that everybody's like got some kind of agenda and they're constantly telling you that what good people they are. And look, man. It's not like this here. Yeah, Kelly, I'm just sick of Kelly, to tell you the truth. I mean, she must think I'm just... It's, I tell you, it's insulting when you would think that I'm that fucking stupid. I just... Uh, I just... Uh, there's too many things that I'm not interested in. Hey, Rish. Yeah, man, uh, anything you get out of my videos, man, I'll tell you, good for you, but it's not intentional. I swear, man, I've been exactly like this my whole life. If you saw last night, I mean, I, I can get pissed off and I can get a temper. And those people are walking around my van while I'm trying to interview uh, Rebecca. I am not one bit intimidated or scared by being around where I'm at. Not at all. Not that I'm some badass or anything, and I am older now, but like I tell guys, I'm just as good as I ever was for about 10 seconds, which is all I need with your dumbass. I mean, the worst case scenario, I get my ass kicked. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but I'm not going to put up the bunch of stupid bullshit. Yeah, Irish. Hey, hon, you having fun today? Yeah, thanks, Angie. No, I'm not, Superwoman. I just get ticked off. You know, you'll see, you watch people gain steam. I didn't say anything to those idiots last night for about the first ten minutes walking by my van looking at me. It's like, fuck you. Hey, Lisa. Days having fun today. Having fun, girl? Wow. Oh, yeah. See, it's good today because why I came out here today is because uh, I should have given Daisy a haircut before I came down here. She's been a little hot sometimes. But it's cool. Daisy's in a good mood. She had a granola bar for breakfast. 
I went and got the clerks a uh, hot chocolate and a donut. I took Kay out last night. We got something to eat. You know, I've known these people for a long time. I, I stayed at that Red Roof Inn for years doing PI work when I wasn't living in Detroit. So you get to know them, you know, blah, blah, blah. I enjoy staying there. Yeah, Dave's a great, great dog. You know, I'll tell you, I, I, you know that with all dogs, but nothing like Daisy. I could never, like, have another dog because I know how Daisy likes coming to this park. You know, you see people with some dumbass dog and it's lumped up. Oh, here's Fido. Fido just loves coming here. And when you watch Fido, he does the same thing wherever he's going. You don't know if he's in a getting ready to be euthanized or is it his favorite park. But Daisy, I know she really likes coming here. So I like bringing her here. She's worth it. No trouble. I know she really enjoys it. So I, I like bringing her here. I do. I really do. Oh, thanks, Made in Michigan. You know, any of my dogs, actually, I had quite a few pit bulls, which were great dogs. I went through the court system with pit bulls. I had a city, Dearborn, actually, where I say, if you probably Googled my name, you'll find those. And I sued, they, they, made, they made some up some bullshit, like I had aggressive dogs. First of all, I would never have an aggressive dog. Because no matter what you do, they get out about once or twice a year. I don't care if you've got them in the middle of Fort Knox. Weird shit happens trees hit the fence the fence falls down the dog gets out so for those reasons it's not worth having a, an aggressive dog a little girl just got killed here a couple weeks ago they say it was pit bulls but it might not have been because when i was in the heat of this litigation i did a lot of research and these journalists they know that pit bull sells so even though if it's got one percent pit bull in it that's what they're going to title the article as but anyway long story short and i was making a ton of money back then so they made up some new bullshit ordinance just to hassle me over these pit bulls. And then it was game on. I ended up suing uh, them, the dog catcher, the police department, and I sued my neighbors. You know, because they were all in on this bullshit. I'm telling you, no bites, no sign of aggression, nothing. They were just hassling me. And I ended up kicking their ass, but it took a long time, and I represented myself. I know it cost them about $60,000 to defend and I never really thought I'd win per se but I won in the sense that I got them to back the hell down and to quit hassling me and that was in 19 I think 87 88 89 and now here the Supreme Court in Michigan rules that there's no banned specific breeds look there are bad dogs out there I get that they should be euthanized. There's been two times when I've been over to people's situation before and gave them my opinion. I said, you need to get this dog euthanized. I mean, there's no breaking this dog. I had one lady, she had a, I hate to say this, but it was a goddamn pit bull. That thing was at the picture window. And when kids were out playing like on little bikes and stuff, this thing was like trying to dig through the window wanting to get those kids can't have it and, and you know everybody you'll, people will say well I've got here Fido here and boy he would protect me if somebody ever broke in he'd protect you if someone broke in if you trained him to protect you other than that he's gonna be wagging his tail trying to figure out what in the hell's going on he's not attacking anybody robber or best friends it's a myth dogs need to be a train not unless you just got some kook who's encouraged to be aggressive towards everybody. Which I would known. It's nuts. Why would you have a dog like that? It's crazy. I feel terrible. You know, I was thinking too, I'm gonna I'm gonna order a can of bear spray because you know I'm driving around all the time. If I saw dogs attacking a kid, there really isn't anything I have to do anything about it. Yeah, it is how you raise them, but I've had I've had pit bulls before, seven weeks old, just little tiny puppies, eight, nine weeks old. Maybe they were older than that, ten weeks old. They're really young. You know, just started walking around doing stuff. I've seen I've had a pit bull that little before. 
and I've seen it, it, it would see another dog and start, start uh, growling. So, you know, that gameness, if you breed it in enough. Now, the kind of myth to that is, you know, when they fought dogs, it's dog against dog. It's not dog against human. But I have run into my fair share of pit bulls that are animal aggressive. You know, they're not interested in getting along with any other animal. They're around, but some of them, if you get a long lineage of fighting breeds, it's hard to get that out of them. And for that reason, they're a pain in the ass. I mean, even if I'm walking a pit bull on a leash and Fifi gets out and comes over to greet my dog and he kills her, I'm in a world of shit even though my dog was leashed. You're responsible for your dog's behavior. I don't need those kind of problems. Yeah, they could have. There's no stray dogs where I go. I mean, Daisy's protected just fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow her in that environment, you know, minus a freak accident. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly right. People need to get research, do research on it. And even then, there are exceptions, you know. But that's why you see families with young kids, and they have, uh, you know, they got labs. You know, when I was living in Chicago, there was a dog walker, and... Uh, pet pet sitter type thing and she was babysitting a, about a year old lab sweet dog there's a guy with a, a guy out here in my area with his metal detector looks like it uh or has he got a golf club oh he's got a metal detector uh anyway uh what was i talking about here I get tired when i'm here Got what I was saying. Come here, Dazer. You know, I think metal detectors are illegal out here. I'm not sure. I don't blame them. They don't want people digging up all the grass. This would this wouldn't be that great of a place. That's what it looks like he's doing. I I, t I told you I brought my metal detector with me. A couple places I want to go out and check using it see a place like this it's fun to like hunt around oh about the lab yeah anyway she went bent this dog had never showed any aggression this dog days you'll see these geese and chase them anyway she bent down to kiss him on the face and he bit her and that dog bit her from like the forehead down to the corner of the lip she ended up getting like 80 stitches and man there wasn't any amount of plastic surgery where you weren't going to notice this i felt so bad for her so you never know I tell people all the time get your damn do not kiss dogs that aren't yours because it in that and whether a dog's wagging its tail or aggressive you never know wagging its tail doesn't mean shit but I see people try and kiss dogs you know that they don't know bad idea that facial tissue is very fragile and scars easy it doesn't take much of a bite you look at the scars on people's mouth lips where they got bit by puppies it doesn't take much to tear up your lip i tell people do not do it yeah this guy's got a metal detector huh. metal detecting's fun uh, i'm gonna go over to that foreman park and do it the problem you risk in detroit is all the shit that's dumped around there about a half hour digging out pop bo bottle tops and can tabs and you don't feel like doing it anymore and face it the good shit is deeper than what I'm looking for you can discriminate all you want oh Boston Terrier they're cool little dogs any terrier breed though they're they're subject to uh, issues that other like a mixed breed wouldn't have pit bulls you know when you got a healthy one they're great but when you don't man there's all sorts of shit that can go wrong with them it's like a retired greyhound man you want to get eaten up in medical bills get a retired greyhound i mean these people are trying to do a 
a nice act and giving a good home to a dog that was raced its life and has no social skills but it's nothing to drop 10 grand into one of those and it's gonna die soon I had too many greyhounds because I was living in downtown Chicago and I didn't want to fool with the pit bull bullshit and you know when you're shrinking down a large dog it's a true mini greyhound it's not like a mini pincher which really is not a mini pincher it's a different dog uh, you get a lot of complications they had problems with their teeth joint problems you name it they're mo they're almost like cats I would describe them as like cats in between a dog and a cat I, I, it seems like I looked up on this park one time. I think you're not supposed to metal detect down here. See, his is going off now for some bullshit. I mean, you're not going to be able to tell him, well, you know what, I'm not digging, I'm just scanning the top. Can't blame him, though. You dig these holes a hole. You know how it is when you take dirt out of a hole. It's not a firm dirt when you put it back in. You don't want people stepping in these holes all the time. Find, finding any diamond rings? No. You know, I brought my metal detector down with me this time. I've never used it here, though. I found last year, I found a Old class ring just on the other side. Yeah, you know, the cross, you gotta trace that white line. Yeah. That's where the cross country kids are running. Yeah, not. That's what I got at Garrett. Yeah. That's what I got. Yeah. Yeah, I got mine. I have, I, do they do they mind if you do it here? They don't mind. Um, Yeah, I've been coming here for almost two years. Oh, okay. And uh, they had yeah, a park police go past me. They just wave sometimes. Yeah, cool. But. I was at the one where the nature, the yeah. nature center is. Yeah. Well, there's, I don't know if you know this area, but there's yeah, do. houses all through there. Yeah, right. And I was over there one time, and and one guy told me I couldn't metal detect over there. but It's on their website. I never bothered to look, though. I don't either. They say yeah. you need a permit or whatever, but. Yeah. No, nah, I don't. How long have you been metal detecting? Yeah, just, uh. About two and a half yeah, years. Yeah, that's about how long I've been doing. It's fun. Oh, it's very fun. I found uh, one gold ring and a couple of silver rings. See, when I go, I bring a regular shovel. Yeah, well, that, this is... That bending over all the time with that little thing. Yeah. And if it's if it's a foot deep, you'll dig your ass off. Oh, yeah. So yeah. with a regular shovel, it saves you from all that trouble. It does. You I, know? Don't, I like this because it doesn't really make a big of a mess. Yeah. You know, yeah. go around and put the plug back. Yeah, right. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Same one I got. All right. <laughs> Take you, care. You too. Come on, Deja. I, you know, I, I was thinking of that. If I used mine, you know, I left mine at the hotel today. Uh -huh. But, you know, where they have those big get-togethers. You yeah. think, like, that'd be a good place to detect. Yeah. I like, you know, I like finding the older stuff. Yeah, that's how I am. Instead of coins. Yeah. yeah I don't really look for new coins either. No. Yeah. It's boring. It is. All right, man. Sure, man. Yep. Well, there you go. It's my fellow metal detector. Yeah, you get you, you get you get your metal detector. It's just fun, you know. You're outside. I take Daisy with me. Like I said, I found some old, not really that old, but it kind of helps you date an area sometimes. Like I found uh, belt buckles, bullets, coins. The old, I found some coins from the late 1800s, but no big deal. Pennies, you know, they're worn to hell. Yeah, I mean, it's metal detectors are a little on the expensive side. I mean, people, you got this idea, you know, when you say somebody, you're thinking of getting a metal detector, they're, they're, they're thinking of finding, like, class rings. You do find them, I guess, but they're rare. And gold nuggets. I don't have, I didn't get one for gold nuggets because the gold in the streams in Michigan is bullshit anyway. Usually it's deep and it's in that black, silty muck. I'd rather just find, like, normal things. 
Yeah, that's a problem with metal detecting. You don't want to miss anything, so you're digging up everything. But you get pretty good at the noise it makes. I mean, I haven't used mine since last year, so I'd be a little rusty. But what I do is I take out coins out of my pocket, and I familiarize myself with the sound of a nickel and a dime and a penny, and, and then I go at it again. It is fun, but it's a super high burnout rate. People get it, and they, they don't... Uh, if you do it and your sole interest is getting rich, you're going to be willfully disappointed. But if you like just being outside, and you never know, and I'm always hoping I'm going to find some, like, sentimental ring and I can give it back to somebody. That'd be so damn fun. Find an old dog collar for Daisy. Good girl. See, like, tinfoil, stuff like that. Make metal, you know, different metal makes different sounds. See, this guy's going back. He's probably had enough already. I wouldn't say it's illegal to metal detect a lot of places. They just don't want you doing it. And, you know, like any ticket, the condition of entrance is that you abide by these rules. And if metal detecting is prohibited, well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do the beach thing, I had a buddy, he had a, uh, a different one, uh, metal detector. And uh, it's not Garrett, there's, there are different brands that white, a white, that detect different things. And I never even went out and used it because I knew the likelihood. I don't want to, if I had a metal detector and all it did was find gold rings, it wouldn't interest me. It's too limited. But if I was out in, let's say, the desert or where there were old gold mines, then I'd probably have one. I'd be looking for different things. So it's, it's kind of like item specific. Daisy Susan says hi. See, I was able to, she's been able to dick, out, dick around out here a long time today because it's cool. She'll be wanting to take a little nappy. See, when I do this first, she, she, she'll go in the back seat and sleep when I'm doing interviews and taking photos rather than wanting to get out. Yeah, you know, if I, I'm not a cat guy. Uh, cats are alright. I don't dislike them. I just I don't have any interest in owning one. Feeling good, on? Feeling good? You good girl? Look at that good girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that good girl. Daisy's cat friendly. She chases some, and then when the, she doesn't get the uh, reaction anymore, she quits chasing them. Feeling good, huh? Daisy slept like a log last night. I can tell when I go to pet her, if she doesn't roll over and want me to scratch her belly, that means she's really tired. She was like trying to roll over in her sleep last night. <laughs> Good girl. like this cool weather. It's nice.
I like those like hairless cats and those leopard looking ones are cool. I'd never get one like a designer pet, but they're neat looking. You know, Daisy's legs are so short, it's kind of a hop for her rather than she's got to be going really slow to really walk and that can really wear her ass out. Come on, on. Oh yeah, they, this is a nice park. They got these nice picnic tails all over. Now they've got, it's the Metro Park System. And uh, they're all over this part of Southeast Michigan. They've got them down near Monroe and up near Sterling Heights and out near Kensington. You know, different like uh, things to do at different parks. Uh, some of them are like beaches and you know, this one's just like nature. There's one across the street from this that it's got a nature thing. You can go in there and pet a turtle. See, this guy might have a dog he's letting out. Always watch for that. Yep, got him on a leash like I'm supposed to. Daisy, come here, hon. Come over here. Come on. Get over here. Come on. You probably wouldn't have him on a leash if I wasn't here. Come on, hon. Come on, girl. Come on, Daisy. Yeah, I bet the whole state's probably nice. Come on, Daisy. Come on, on. Daisy. Where else you go? How you doing? Doing any good with your metal detector? Nah, that's not me. That's the other guy. Was that? Was that you? Uh, had the metal detector? I metal detector. Oh yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't bring it today. Oh, okay. That's no, a. I don't think I've to you. No, it's another guy. I thought you. No, that guy, I don't know where he's at. Is that yours? No. Yeah, there's a guy. No, there's a guy out here. I do have one, a Garrett, actually. Uh -huh. I brought it with me, but I didn't, uh, I've never brought it here. Yeah, he said he's looking around. I don't know where the guy is, to tell you the truth. I thought that was you. You no. kind of look like him. Huh. Yeah, I wonder, he's probably in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's found a ring, I guess, last year. Oh. You nice. metal detect? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it for about 10 years. Yeah, so. I've been doing it about two and a half, same same as he is. But I haven't used mine since last year. Okay. I'm going to take it down to Detroit and use it later. Uh -huh. Big open fields, a park 100 years ago. Really? Yeah. You're not afraid to go down there? No, I'm afraid to go down there. You ever go on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got like 5,500 videos. Oh, you do? Yeah, all those abandoned buildings. The uh -huh. name's Chosen One, C-H-O-S-E-N. And then separate word one, W O N. Oh, I've watched a lot of your videos. Yeah, it's me. Good to meet you. Yeah. Tom Reed. Tom Reed. Yeah. I've talked to you a little bit. Have you? Online. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be dull. Yeah. That's, Where's your van? That's Daisy's right over there. <laughs> See it? <laughs> yeah. Small world, isn't it? It is. Yeah. You know, I've, I grew up in Flat Rock. Yeah. And I've been coming. That's, well, I, I'm the one that asked you if. Uh, you knew that officer in Flat Rock, the one that got killed down at the No, place. see, I was long gone, but I knew, you know, my mother was on the council. Yeah. And all the guys I knew were long gone. Yeah. I don't know anybody in Flat Rock anymore. But, man, when I was there, you know, we knew my sister. I had an older sister. You know how it is in Flat Rock. Yeah. I didn't, but I was, I remember hearing that in the news. Uh -huh. And I don't even, I mean, I don't even know anybody that knows anybody in Flat Rock anymore. I mean, I've been gone. I graduated in 74. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I was going to these parks, you know, the ones across the river down near the dam. Yeah. I was going there before they were parks. Oh, wow. I love these parks. Yeah. Yeah, these are great, man. Yeah, I, I like coming out here. We bring the dog out and take him for a walk. He's 10 years old, so. Oh, that's why. See, I like it out here because she's never on a leash. Uh -huh. I've had a bunch of dogs, all my dogs I brought here. And I come like when there's nobody around. Yeah. And it's, there's not many places you can let your dog run wild. Right. You know? Yeah, that's true. I've never uh, had a problem, you know. She's just a little dog anyway. But, yeah, so you watch your videos, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I see, uh, you know, I started watching them when you were interviewing all the girls. Out yeah, the still did that last night. I'm doing some tonight. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you ever, there's, uh, there's, I saw one uh, lady in uh, Southgate I, over by that Myers there. Yeah, I know who it is. Tassie. No. Okay. I don't think so. All right. No. 
She's the, this one is the tall, uh -huh. uh, skinny, uh, blonde hair, I think. Uh huh. And uh, she was out looking through pop cans and stuff, and I pulled up to that Myers there. Uh huh. I was getting ready to go in, and she pulled her bike over and uh, said, "You got a cigarette?" And this and that, you know. And she was on one of my videos. No, no, I was just oh. wondering if you had ever seen her. No, maybe. you know, I never get down around there that much. I used to go through Flat Rock a lot. But now, basically, I limit it to Delray. I come out here, yeah. I get a Captain Nemo sub, yeah. and then I, a lot of times you'll see I videotape planes landing and taking off. Uh huh. I got like a regular routine. And like today, I got the girls a P.O. box, actually, so people can send them oh, gift really? cards. Yeah, yesterday. Oh, nice. What a pain in the ass. Over there on Livernois in, in Michigan. You okay. know, P.O. box is down here two and a half times more expensive than where I live in West Branch. Is that right? Yeah, it's nuts, man. They're ripping these people off. You yeah. get down here a lot, don't I, you? I do, I do. Because I've do. seen some of your videos where you put up just a, it's just a chat, a member's yeah. chat yep. or something, yep. and, yeah. and you're filming behind a, you live behind a store or something like that? Yeah, yeah, Walgreens. Walgreens. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I live in a condo up there. Okay. Yeah, I come down here and uh, I always stay at the Red Roof Inn over there in Dearborn. Oh, yeah. And I've been staying there a long time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Small world. Yeah. Yeah, check I, it out. Actually, I was doing the chat now, showing these people the, the park and stuff like oh, that okay. i bring her down i brought her down today because she really likes this park crazy as it sounds yeah you know i can let her go in an open field in detroit she doesn't even want to walk but down here i don't know what it is it she feels safer feel safe yeah feel safer and you She's know it's sense. it's got everything she can uh you know drink if she wants she yeah. can just have a good time these parks are great yeah they are i just they sit really around are. here and look and i think god damn it i'm glad they were cutting the grass and not me I mean, just the lot, maintenance of these of places. Grass, oh, yeah. shit, yeah, man. Keeping these trees nice. Yeah. I mean, this would be jungle if it wasn't maintained. Yeah, that's here true. I can My lazy ass can just park my van, let Daisy out, come here for a couple hours. I mean, I get the yearly pass, and I live 200 miles away, you know? Yeah. It's worth it. It's a good yeah. deal. You probably got you it, too, do some you? nice trails up there where you live, I do, too. I've I do. I've seen some of your yep. videos where it's you different. Yeah. walking But, on. you know, nothing like this. Yeah, not Crazy as open. As, not as open. Yeah. That's the trick. I had too many greyhounds, and I used to let them just... They would get out of my van, like over there, yeah. and they would run their ass off full tilt when they were young. They'd go all around the circle, both of them, come back to the van, that'd be done. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, had a, but where else could I have done yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Where are you from originally? Uh, well, I, my family's all from down south. Okay. And um, I grew up pretty much, we lived in Asheville, North Carolina when oh. I was younger. Oh, okay. But then I grew up primarily in uh, Taylor. Oh, Taylor. I lived in E-Course for a while when I was very, very young. Yeah. And then we moved out to Taylor. Okay. And from there, I branched off. I've lived in Tennessee. I've okay. lived in Iowa. So They don't call it Taylor Tucker anymore. Shit, they're putting up $400,000, $500,000 houses. house. Did you ever yeah. think you'd see that? Well, you know what? Isn't it ironic that the crime's going up, too? I know. I know. I mean, when I no, lived there, I know. we could walk around the streets and, yeah. you, you know, you didn't have any fear of no, anything no. except maybe another a bully or yeah, something like yeah. that. But no, no, no. anymore, man. I know. And that traffic. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I can telegraph. Yep. It's just, but you know what? I lived in Dearborn for five years and it was as bad then as it is now. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of people in a little, little area. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. Yep. Things change. Don't they, though? I yeah. went out to Sumter Township. That's where yeah. I'm at now. Yeah, I like Sumter. Uh, it's a little more country. -y. Yeah, but you never know out there. You know, Sumter's kind of like, I had a place like that. I still have it in Florida mm -hmm. where it's, uh, you know, when you leave, you're kind of like worried about what's going to happen when you come back. Now, I don't, Sumter's runs the gamut. You can be in a $650,000 country home or you can be living in a lean-to yes right next door right next door it, it's, it's that weird. that's what happens when you don't have zoning restrictions yeah florida is a perfect example of that like mm -hmm. i have 20 acres down there sure as shit i had a pig farmer on the north side yeah you, so you <laughs> never know but the 20 acres kind of insulated you from that you know uh -huh. but sumter township is always here in township here it's always just kind of what i like about it is it really hasn't changed yeah you get captain nemo subs um, there's a Captain Nemo's in Belleville. Yeah, that's one. I, I yeah. go to that. You ever go to one of Romulus? Uh, I have years ago. Oh, okay. Here River Drive. Yeah, yeah. Here in River Drive. Yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. those damn things. I do too. Yeah. They, they got good stuff. I, I don't, I only eat subs two places, man. I, I don't like them most places. Yeah. That, and you ever go to Ann Arbor? Rarely. There's an Izzy's on Stadium. Okay. Good. Totally different, but good quality sub. Not okay. that cheap ass old Subway meat. Hey, I've seen you on videos. Yeah, ba times. Daisy. I should have cut her hair before I came down here. It's not bad that, eh? Yeah. But riding around, so she's been getting a little hot. She's your traveling companion. Yeah, I love that dog, man. Great. Yeah. What did my wife say? 
I think she's one of the better. Hey, good times. Good, yeah, nice good talking meet. to you, man. Yes, yeah. Sir. All right, I'll have some videos on tonight. I've been doing a couple of lives. Hey, if you ever bring out your metal detector out here, um, right after the sledding season, yeah. hit that hill over there. Oh, okay. I found some silver jewelry and stuff over there that fly off people's yeah, that makes when sense. sledding down the hill. Yeah, if you get on the internet tonight, you go on Google Earth or something, mm -hmm. I'm going to go down and check out Foreman Park. It's that park right below the Rouge Bridge. Ah, I've seen you do videos yeah, there. Yeah, but I've never used my videotape. You know what? My, I have, my, uh, I've asked, I, I work with a lady who's from Detroit, yeah. and I asked her about that. Yeah. I didn't know the name of it, but I was Foreman telling park. her some of the streets. Foreman and she park. goes, oh, I know that area. Yeah. Let me tell you something, though. When they, when they were first starting to demo a lot of the houses, there were two guys that I went out, and I said, hey, look, I'm a metal detector guy. I'll pay you for what you get. Mm -hmm. They they demolished, and then, you know when they demolished it, they got to dig to get all that shit out? Yeah. Didn't find a fucking thing in th three right? years. No, you're thinking as a metal detector guy. Wow, the history of Detroit. Yeah. And believe me, these guys needed money, and if they'd have found, they'd call me sometimes. I go look at, it and it was bullshit. So I know the best things they found. They weren't even bottle cap value. And this yeah. is over almost three years of thousands of homes. Not one thing worth a shit. Well, you know what? I probably I couldn't tell you that I have found a lot of valuable things metal yeah. detecting. Yeah. Yeah. I just love the history I do. behind them. That's how I am. Stuff. That's how I am. I mean, I dig up buttons. No. And I'm the same way. It's like, no. if you can date them, you can say, hey, that's from the 1800s. Yeah, uh -huh. I had I had a buddy of mine give me a white. Uh huh. But, you know, what are the chances of me finding a, a gold ring or a gold nug or a slight sl lil? Yeah. I'd rather have the Garrett, and I'm going to dig up my share of stuff I don't want. Yeah. But that's the name of the game, man. It is. I mean, if you could buy one and it every time it pointed at something and went off it was worth something mm -hmm. shit they, they'd sell out yeah it's the fun true. of it all it's the fun of it fun yep. of it yep i know a bunch of guys who go down to del rey right now and they're digging up old privies oh god here's a goddamn cop they've never said anything on my dog running around but you never know privies i know marbles too mm -hmm. well you know the old outhouses and not in the the old houses out there uh-huh come here days come here honey yeah all junk man all those houses they they've wiped some out. Old bottles, though. They do, but we're rare. Come here, Dazer. They've invited me down a few times. Now, to believe me, I've covered. I've I've been, you know, down there. Come here, Days. Come here, honey, so I don't get a ticket. I've been down there so many times. Hold, hold, Remy. Daisy, Daisy. Is Remy Frezzy friendly? Daisy, get over here. Daisy, Daisy. Hey, get over here. Daisy, Daisy. Daisy, get over here. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. No. He probably just sniff him and lick him, but. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Daisy. I'm sorry to spook you. What's, what kind of mix is Remy? Remy's a lab and a child. Would you settle down? Don't jump. He's excited. Has he got a cataract? He's got, uh, he got his tear condition. ducts are not working very properly. You know, I know a lady just sunk six grand into tear duct surgery at Michigan State <gasps> and a 16-year-old dog. Remy. Oh, my goodness. Shush. He's 10. It's cute Look, dog. He's, he's okay. Yeah, that's Daisy, see? Did you have him yeah. since a puppy? Yeah. Um, well, she's had him since he was a puppy. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we've, been, we've been together just uh, five years, or so. Mm -hmm. And he's 10 years old, so. Oh, okay. He had a, we call it his sister, that he grew up with, and she got a brain tumor and died. So, uh, she was laying on the floor one day having a seizure, and he just walked up to her and sniffed her and turned around and walked away, and it was like his closure. Aww. <laughs> I think he just wants you to have him. Hey. Aww. Yeah. He's no. calmed down now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. See Chase Ball? Is that his ball he takes everywhere? Yeah, we found that out here, actually. So, uh, after he chewed some holes in it, we said we might as well just take it home. Yeah, I noticed a lot. You remember, if you've been coming, so you've been coming to these parks for how long? Oh, a long time. Yeah, you know, we came up here as kids in boats. Uh -huh. But have you noticed all the people in kayaks now? Yeah, yep. I know some people that put in at one of these areas, and they just, they like to kayak up the river. Yeah. Just want to sniff. <laughs> See, it's a See? good duck. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. It's all right. He wants to play. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we put this water in this ball and he licks it out of it where it's depressed there. This is, uh, oh, does he really? Water bowl. Yeah, yeah I, I, actually, I take her over like near my van. Yeah. There's a place where she can go back there and drink water. Okay. So, you know, yeah. it's weird. She doesn't like drinking out of bowls. Strange. She huh. could be thirsty as hell. Mm -hmm. Now pour some water in a dish and she won't drink out of it. Wow. That makes sense. How old is she? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Six. Well, it was good talking to you, man. Good talking to you. All right, I'll see you guys later. All righty, we'll see you. See, you're lucky you didn't get chewed, huh? See, that is a slight risk you take. Because I don't think that there's... If, if that dog is like a kook, there's not much you can do once it grabs a hold of a dog, so... Wait till that guy gets out of the way. There you go. Come on. Good girl. She's not stupid though. She didn't go right up to him. See, that's how, that's like how things get set up. If I, if I came here and I saw somebody with a dog, I don't get anywhere near him. Well, now you can see how it can happen, even with the best of intentions. Nah, she, she just drank water, but it's weird. She's, she doesn't want to drink out of a bowl. Come on, Daze. Come on, hon. So weird. Come on, hon. I got water I carry all the time. I've tried a bowl, try and give it to her out of my hand. I mean, it'd be nothing for a dog like that to lay 20 stitches on Daisy, no problem. One bite. See, a guy watches the video, small world, huh? Nice guy. He's been around too. He go, hangs around the same place as I do. Good girl, Daisy. Guy asked me, where's my van? Oh, wow. Did it survive? Did your dog survive from that pit bull? That is one, I mean, a legit pit bull. I mean, there's something to that bite, I'll tell you that. I've had them before. They'd hang off a damn rope for 20 minutes. Oh, good. Did it, did it hurt much? Hey, Dusty. Did it cause any damage? You know, funny as it seems sometimes, I've seen pit bulls grab dogs. Of course, a dog like yours doesn't have much hair, so they're right at the skin from the get-go. But I've seen pit bulls latch onto dogs, small dogs, and shake them, and uh, not really do much damage. You wouldn't think that'd be possible. It all depends on where the skin gets nailed and how much give there is. Yeah, sorry about your dog. I mean, see, that's the thing, man. I mean... If you, a, a lot of pits, they're great, great pets, uh, super athletic, fun, you know, people, uh, someone that doesn't know dogs, they're not going to break into your house if they see a pit bull. Someone that understands pit bull, I know more people through pit bull connections that have had their pit bull stolen. That's because they understand what's going on. And if your dog's not a trained attacker, they'll break right in a house and steal an 80 pound pit. They hardly even know. It happens a lot. Like I said, it's a myth about the aggression of dogs. It has to really be taught. Unless you just had a coop that's taught to hate everything. See, Daisy, I mean, I don't trust her with people. Yeah, I'm glad your dog made it. Did the other people pay for uh, the damage? I don't want those kind of hassles anymore. You know, it's great to to uh, be a foster parent to a, a pit bull that needs a home. 
But that, that fun goes out the window real quick when you got it on a leash and you're doing everything right. And Fifi comes up and your dog clamps on. And it's 15 minutes before you can get them off. I mean, I just don't want to deal with that kind of horse shit now. It sucks. I would If I had a dog that I knew was like that, I'd have him muzzled all the time. I wouldn't have given the opportunity to uh, clamp on a dog. I mean, you are responsible for your dog. But if you got a dog that's known to bite other dogs, you're responsible for other people's dogs as well. You can't have your dog biting people. I can't, you know, even if it comes up to you, especially if you have knowledge that the dog's like that. Yeah, today, see, the way the bank's set up here, I will end up taking Daisy for a swim, but the way the bank is set up today, there's nowhere to get in the water without getting super muddy. So I will give her her first bath down in Delray. It's, it's hard, all this water around, but it's not a good setup. Yeah, Daisy got a chicken taco yesterday. 11.30, man, time flies. Really does. See, this is my typical uh, day, shit like this. Uh, although I, I usually do video or photography before, so this is how I get these videos. Go to bed, get up, do some video. Hey Mark, you're gonna be around? I'll head over there now. Look at that, couple ladies with their babies. Everybody asks me what started YouTube. Basically, it's you know I'm, I've been doing this stuff my whole life. Uh, you know, doing this kind of thing, talking to people, and then you know I, I have just like literally hundreds of thousands of photographs I've taken. To play. I used to take ten thousand road trip mile road trips all the time. I go to Alaska and spend two months just fucking around doing whatever I felt and then video I got kind of bored with photography I did big large format photography 4x5s 8x10s photographed every national park in the northern uh, part of uh, the United States there's been a couple summertime parks like that I've missed but all the ones that are where there's a then I got bored and then YouTube came out and I thought you know I'm gonna start doing some video and then video got better and then you didn't need to be a computer scientist to upload something to the internet and then I was home free but with the women I uh, would run into them when I was getting coffee and buying I would get the free press and news and go sit by the uh, uh, river and read them and I'd run into the women working the street all the time and they were so kind to animals They'd be buying them hot dogs and stuff and throwing it to them in the alley, cats, birds. And then uh, just struck up a conversation about... My breakout video was uh, Angel. Angel or Penny, either one, I think. Like I say, I wouldn't even have a damn channel if it wasn't for uh, Angel, Penny, and Wendy. Wendy. I really wouldn't. Nobody watches. I, I, I consistently upload the same videos. You'll see it hasn't changed much. Airplanes, animals, driving, and Detroit. So, I mean, I don't do anything different now than when I didn't have any subscribers. I did get a new thing for my dash though because on that newer camera I have it smaller and it's harder to hold level for some reason. The viewfinder is smaller, it just is. And if you look at some of those half ass videos I uploaded, you see there that's the best thumbnail I could come up with. One that was taken in an angle. So I, it just looks like hell. So I, I got a thing for my dash that I'll put it on there. Now this time I haven't taken any video. 
other than the interview with uh, Maddie and Gerald. I did more still photography in Delray. I had a beautiful day yesterday with how the light hit places. And, uh, you know, I've pretty much shown everybody Detroit. The video the most views got to be Angel or Wendy. I think they got like a million, maybe Penny. Penny. So I'd say Penny, Angel, and Wendy. I'd say, I'd say Penny. You know, like I tell people all the time, uh, you, you'll notice discrimination just by uploading videos. A, an attractive, blue-eyed, blonde woman that's working the streets gets way more views than the black girl, even if she's good looking. It's a hell of a cheap litmus test, but it's true. Yeah, it's Penny, Wendy, and Angel. Those are the three, I would say. And they were their breakout videos, not mine. I mean, I didn't do anything. And you, you really think about it. People think they thank me for what I'm doing. I'm really not doing anything. Because if it wasn't for the people that I interviewed, all as I would be is a guy with a camera in Detroit. That's it. It's the interaction with the characters in the city that make it interesting. Believe me, I'm along for the ride too. I'm experiencing the same thing you are, except live. This looks like a sneaky little cop in a black car. I've never seen an unmarked car here before. Yeah, I did now. looks like a Detroit police car. I don't know why you bother having an unmarked police car if you're going to make it black and have those uh, lights on the side near the window, near the rear view, near the side view mirror. Those chargers, the Detroit police are sharp looking police cars, all black. They got that light gray where you can see Detroit, barely read it. Nice cool day today. It's be good for Daisy. So I'll go up to this party store and check my uh, ticket. You know, somebody in my town, West Branch, won that uh, Lotto 47, 17 million. You know, that's been always kind of my dream that I I find out that somebody in West Branch won it, but they don't know who. Not that, you know, I'm certainly not the only guy that buys them in West Branch, but sure enough, that part of the equation happened, but it wasn't me. You know, I wouldn't change one thing. I'd keep the same van, everything. See, lower here in park, I don't really care for it. That's more like golf and bullshit and swimming pools. No, I never watch that on YouTube. No, I never heard of it. I don't watch as many channels as I used to because, uh, you know, by the time I upload my videos and, you know, whatever editing I do, which isn't much, it's time consuming. I don't really, the time I spend is on my stuff.
Yeah, you get in habits. I always park in the same place. Yeah, I did see Rebecca. Yep, I got a couple videos. I'm going to see her again today. I got to go and get the P.O. box keys. Good girl, huh? Good girl. Get fun walking all over. Huh? Get fun walking all over.
My girl, hon. Here's somebody in a sign with their dog missing. That sucks. I don't think I get an ounce of sleep. Daisy came up missing. Well, I think I'm going to sign off here, you guys. Charge my phone up. Head over to Detroit. About 10 miles away or something like that. 15. So I hope everybody has a good day. Don't do what I do. Keep your dog on a leash. Hope everybody has a good day. Bye-bye.